Well, hello there, you beautiful, beautiful people. Now, this is video one of one, because I've only done one at the moment. I'm doing another, another one later. Keep your eyes peeled. So, the big news, the big news at the moment, well, I say the big news at the moment. The big news at the moment is that Brian Koberger could potentially not be the person who did this heinous, heinous crime. But there is something that's been happening alongside this, and we've got to get into the meat and potatoes of it. And what am I talking about? What am I talking about? I'm talking about the gag order. Now, we talk about things that are unfit for purpose. And when we think of things that are unfit for purpose, what do we mean? We mean something that is set in place or is supposed to do a job, but... In fact, it doesn't do it at all. And in some cases, it can actually do the absolute opposite to what it should be doing. And we're talking about the gag order. Now, alongside the Brian Koberger sort of debacle, we'll call it debacle, there has been another thing going alongside it, and that is that people have been trying to fight the gag order. Associated Press, if you like. Now... What they've done is they've done the whole process wrong. They've basically gone to the CEO when they should have gone to the line manager. Do you know what I mean? There's processes. And even though they've lost this case, they haven't lost because they are wrong. They've lost because of how they went about it. Now, you ca if there's a race, if there's a marathon... You can't fucking cheat. You can't sit in a bush and run the last 10 yards and get your fucking trophy. You're not going to be on the podium. You're going to be a cheat. You're going to get punished for being a cheat. But truly, all jokes aside, all things aside, what is the gag order doing? Now, I personally think that the gag order is fueling the fire. It's fanning the flames of the negativity towards Brian Koberger. And some people will turn around and say, but look, he, he, he did this crime, but we don't know if we did it. The guy's innocent until proven guilty by jury of his peers in a court of law via the process that should be in place to do such a thing. And you would hope that if there was ever a time that you needed this system to work, that it would be there and it would work. And like I say, for me, I feel that the gag order is going completely against that. It's allowing people who are unfit for purpose to do a hatchet job on someone prior to them getting their day in court. So you can't turn around and say that a gag order is set in place to protect the process, to enable Brian to obtain a fair trial. Because while people are not having access to what is truly happening in real time, and this isn't about feeling that we are there is an obligation to us for us to learn and to understand and for us to follow it, it's for us to know that the process is doing right by the system, by the process. And how do we know that it is? Because all we are seeing is that this supposed gag order is in place. And while that's in place, you've got the aforementioned hatchet job happening over here. So far, since the gag order, we've heard that Brian Koberger has stalked women. He set surveillance cameras up in another female's property. He has potentially done other murders that are being investigated. He's an incel. He's got hatred towards women. He has gone into bars and... He's harassed and said horrible things to women there. He's, um, where do I, where does I, where does it end? He is 100% in many people's eyes done this crime and nobody else is involved. To the point, to the point where we've got someone who was one of the, one of two surviving roommates who were in 1122 King Road when this happened who it is being said that they have exculpatory evidence that could potentially exonerate this guy and people still ain't fucking interested they're actually protecting this person and saying that they shouldn't have to come forward 
and that is off the back end of information that has come out because the gag order is allowing people to make up the fucking stories as they see fit. That's what's happening. And that is the gag order's fault. If the truth was out there, laid everything bare, then the system in this situation would have worked better. You can't bend the truth. You can't bend the facts. Sometimes you can, I guess. But for the most part, if everybody is above board and they are straight with everybody, then everybody trusts what is being said by those that are being entrusted to run this system, to run this process. But because everything is so cloak and dagger and everything is hidden, it's almost like you could argue that are they doing this on purpose? Are these little tidbits that are being fed out and then taken away, given then taken, just being shown enough to set the spark of the Rome rumor mill going again and allowing people who have influence in this niche, influence in the online media, to run their fucking horrible mouths and talk utter shit. Let me know what you think down below. I know, I know this is a rant. And it, it weren't supposed to be a rant. This was, this was simply about me asking you a question. A question on how you stand with the gag order. We know the process. We know why the, the, the movement against it has been squashed. Because it was done wrong. But even when you read through the documentation of their case it held strong argument and that was not contested. The only thing was contested was the manner with which the argument was brought forward. But it is in... Now what? Now do we just leave this now and just let it play out and see what happens? What if this guy is not guilty? Think about that for a second. What if he is not guilty? What if he's involved? There's something else. There is a bigger picture, but he is not the person who did it. He is not the person who did it. I asked a question yesterday, if or the day before. If you truly, in your heart of hearts, believe that Brian Koberger did this, then who gave you that piece of information? Where was the source of that information that led you to believe that he did this and you are beyond reasonable doubt that is him? That is him, and I bet my bollocks to a barn dance on it, it's him. And I can bet my bollocks to a barn dance that that information did not come from a reputable source. How can anybody be happy with how things are at the moment. People fighting to stop someone coming forward with exculpatory evidence potentially to get Brian out of this situation or to bring to light something else. And people seemingly would rather battle that just to see this guy put down just to what? Just to what? To prove their theory right. I just, I don't get it. And their theory that is based on potential bullshit. And again, I'm not saying that the guy is innocent. I'm not. I'm just saying that we're not there yet. <laughs> we're to buy a long fucking shot. We're not there yet. And this recent bombshell that's been dropped proves it. Proves it. Now, before I go, I've got to do a bit of housekeeping. Someone dropped a message down below, and they were like, Harsh, they were like, you, you, you're fantastic, and I've been watching your stuff for a while. Some of the best that I've ever seen. I may have extrapolated that slightly, but ultimately, they've been watching, they weren't subscribed. Now, I'm not that bothered about subscribers, but I'm bothered about you guys. And if you're watching, and you're not subscribed, then you can't hit the notification bell. And you can't make sure that you see this beautiful, beautiful face whenever I upload a video. 
and that is a travesty. In fact, only 50% of you are subscribed. 50%. That is a fail. That is a fa I, I have fa If you want me to feel like a failure, carry on doing what you're doing. If not, hit subscribe. I'm going to leave you with Doug, and I'll catch you in video two later. Let me know down below what you think. What's up, Parse fam? We just launched our new nonprofit organization, United Search Corps. We're going to be advocating for the missing and families of the missing as well. And we need your help to spread awareness for our mission and also our fundraiser. There's a lot of equipment and necessary things that we need for this to be possible. So please take a second and share our fundraiser. For more information, please check out our website, unitedsearchcorps.org. Go over, my, go over to my YouTube channel and check out our announcement video as well. The links will be in the description below. Thank each and every one of you for your time and consideration. Thank you.